The goal of the Friday WAPA meeting was to announce relief. The board approved an addendum to an existing contract with the corporation overseeing St. Thomas's upcoming reverse osmosis plant. But for some small business owners, the long-awaited help may be too little, too late. And then you have to close early, and then closing early means you're losing business. And right now, we can't afford to lose business. We have had to upgrade our, our whole um, pump system and the tank system in order to give the, the restaurant enough pressure. During the board meeting, WAPA Chair Hugo Hodge said he was able to negotiate a temporary water installation to bridge the gap between now and when the permanent reverse osmosis system is available sometime within the next year. In the meeting, Hodge says with this new plan, water tanks on St. Thomas will be filled within a 30-day period which means more frustrations in the interim. You can't really do anything because you have people in the restaurant, you want to um, blend something, you want to use the bathroom. It's just crazy. I mean, we have to use bottled water that we purchased to make drinks, to wash dishes. That's not cool. <laughs> well, I'm a little frustrated, but like I said, we have the situation under control, you know, and um, we're just waiting for them to get their situation under control so that we will be able to um, continue doing business on a normal. Hugo Hodge is out of the territory and has not yet commented on the most recent setback, but a spokesperson for WAPA said repairs are underway and that it would be in a better position to give updates Tuesday. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.